behind. The back? Yes. Can you see that okay? What is behind me? Board. The board is behind me. And back of me. Behind. Under. Uh, over. Under. What is under? Down. 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 What is over? Notice over and above, very close. Very close in meaning. Beside. Beside. Here's my side. Here's my other side. What does beside mean? Where are we? Like this one. Next to. Next to, but on the side. Yeah. So we would say Sam sits beside Jamil. Yeah. How about this one? Between. What is between? between. Yes. B is between A and C. Between. Around. Around. Yep. <clears throat> this one use gets used in different ways around. So it's a direction. I'm going to walk around the room. Here and there. Around. But we also use it. How much are the bananas? Eh, I'm not sure. Around? Around? Seventy-five. Maybe seventy. Maybe seventy-nine. Not sure. How much is gas? Eh, around three dollars a gallon. Nearly. Near. Nearly. Nearly, yes. So this one tells us moving around and also a number, close in a number. Where are we? Close, near. Um, it can also, around, it comes from the word round. Around means something that's a circle. So if I said, I'm going to go uh, well, around I'm going to go around in a circle. So this word gets used in a lot of different ways, around. I'm giving you a direction. 
I'm telling you to go somewhere. I want you to go to PNC Bank. Do we all know PNC? Yes. Okay. And walk in the front door. I want you to go to the front door and walk in to the bank. So I would say, drive east on Kniff. Drive east on Kniff to Joseph Campo. Well, no, we, we, we won't use drive, we'll say walk. I want you to walk to Joseph Campo and go around the corner and walk in. It's a turn. So we use that word around in lots of different ways. Here's our street, and I'm saying, here you are, you're right here. Okay, this is you, and I want you to go here. I say, oh, turn around. The other way. So if I'm standing here and I say, I'm going to turn around. Yeah. It's all based on this idea of a circle, a round shape. How about this one? Box. The box is on the table. The marker is in the box. I want you to put the marker into the box. Into it. It's more of a direction. It's very close to this, but it means you're doing something. Okay, these are common prepositions. We call these It tells us how several things relate to each other. So I think everyone's here that's coming. Um, so we'll go on with, yesterday we talked about the word can. And uh, what does this word mean? Can. Yeah. What does it mean? I can do something. Ability. Pardon? Ability. Ability. You are able to do something. Uh, we also know that just to remind you, when you read, you have to decide when you're reading something, is it an action or a thing? Because we know the word can is also a thing. A can of soup. Okay. So we, when you read, you have to 
look at the grammar to find out our, what are we talking about. So you have to figure out. So. I can't open again. Okay. No. Is my can? I can open the can. Um, so, hey, Arafat, how are you? Um, Arafat, see if you have page 52 from yesterday, 52, 53, do we all have that? Do you have it? Unit 7, 52, Unit 7, this all, this all, it should, Let's go, um, we did 52, but because we have uh, these two go together, um, we're going to uh, start on page 52 again. We can just go through these. And on page 52, it's telling us um, affirmative and negative and to remind you when you say I can do something that's very clear but when you say can't if you don't get the T sound in there it's hard to hear I can't do something do you hear my T I can't do it many times when we say can't and you don't think someone understood you you can say the whole thing I cannot that is clear I cannot okay. so when you're talking with someone that may have difficulty understanding you use the cannot it means the same thing it's a stronger sound so let's take a look here and uh, the examples uh, up here, affirmative. What does affirmative mean? Who remembers affirmative? Yes. Yes. And negative means? No. no. Affirmative and negative. Um, let's go over here to uh, Part A, and we'll run through these quickly. Okay. Uh, Oni, come in. How are you? Oni, do you have this one? Page 52. Look, look in there. Okay. We're going to run through this again. Um, let's start up here. Uh, 
uh, with the example, and we'll go through these. Uh, example, start us off. Can he can use a computer. Okay. And the next one as well. I cannot type quickly. Very good. Next one. Go ahead. Mari cannot speak Japanese. Very good. And then do the next one also. Uh, Anna and Ivan can use email. Okay. Very good. Number four. Camila, number four. Oh, here. Fifty-two. Number four. You can, but the people. No, four number. Four. Number four. Number four, yeah. You can. Number three. Number four, our three. three. Number four. four. We're on four, Arafat. Yeah, you can. Did you hear number three? Anya and Ivan can use email. Okay. Number four, Nabila. Uh, e or B. Three, uh, number four for e you. E or B. A. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, you can't put the people in the uh, brain tail. No. Okay. Notice we've got three P's here. And that's the one that some people need to practice. Put, paper, printer, p sound. Not but, put. Yes, otherwise it will be unclear. Number five, Arafat. Uh, they cannot work. Wait, wait, number five. Five. Yeah, number five, they cannot. Five. Take a look. Little word. This one. Oh. Okay. Uh, we can work. Will you get that? Again. Uh, we can. We can. Uh, work. Well. To get there? Together. 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 What does that mean? Work together. Both? Yes. Both. As it, with another Both. person. Both. Together. Abdel <coughs> Abdel Kader, number six. I can to on the first mission. Very good. Number uh Auni, number seven. And the children swim. Wait, wait, we're not on the same page. Number seven. Oh, no, we can understand the Chinese. 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 The language of China? Yeah. Chinese. Chinese. Say it Chinese. 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 Very good. Yeah. Sam? You can't write a Number uh, nine. Give me a. Uh, uh, some can't speak English well. Very good. Okay. And Sahim, number ten. Can or can't? Can. Can. Very good. Okay, uh, number 11. Very good. And number 12. Yes. Okay, and uh, now let's go down. And now it wants us to unscramble. Um, before we do that, just another word. Hey, how are you? Good. Um, Butter, I don't know if you have this one. Page 52. Take a look. Page 52. You probably have it, but here I'll give you another one. 
we're done. We're going to start here. This word, um, Prepare. We put the sound on the second half. Prepare. What does it mean? Get ready. It's an action. Get ready. I'm going to prepare for work. I'm going to get ready for work. I'm going to prepare dinner. What does that mean? I'm going to get everything for dinner ready. Prepare. So the example they gave here is Gilberto can prepare food. That means he can fix the food. Prepare. Um, so let's go down here to part B. Notice part B says unscramble. What does unscramble mean? No meat. Put them together in appropriate ways, the right way. So um, the example here says uh, the words, and we put it together, and I cannot speak Russian. Notice the way the words are put together. Can and cannot, something has to can, something has to cannot. Noun verb first. Um, let's see, where were we? Number one, uh, who is next? Butter, number one. No, wait, we'll go back here. We, were, we did uh, Allah and uh, Saba. Okay. Number one. Number one. Uh, you can uh, play soccer. You can play what? You can play soccer. Soccer. So soccer. Very good. Okay. And uh, Kalud, number two. Tabiano can play Now, now let's put them in order. Oh. Pardon? Yeah. Let's see you Monday. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Sarah can play the Very good. Okay. Now butter, number three. We will all drop. Now a sentence. We we call one draw. What do we think? Draw well. Draw well. Um, we'll stop here for a second. The way we construct in English. We're going to talk about drive. We can drive fast. Fast. Comes after. We can drive fast. We can drive slow. 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 Slowly. Yeah. We can drive. Well, we can drive well. Everything comes after the verb. You put, you put that after the action. Okay. Not before. Okay, let's go back up here to uh, number four, Fatima. 
streets around the house. Notice around the house. What does that mean? Around the house. That was one of our words. Well, it could be, but probably not. Around the house. He can fix things around the house. What do you think it means? It means, right now, I'm looking around the room. Around. All the places. So that's kind of an expression. We know this word around means the circle, but it's a bigger meaning. It means, oh, he can do all these things around the house. The bathroom, the kitchen, uh, the basement, the ceiling, the roof, all the things. So it's a, around can be around, but it can also a big meaning. <clears throat> um, anybody here know anybody, anyone who uh, is a Uber or Lyft driver? Do you know someone? Uber driver? Yes? No. Where do they drive? Around the city. Around the city. Yeah. Around Detroit. Detroit. Everywhere. So it's a big area. So this word around can have a big meaning. Uh, where are we? Number... Uh, five, Nabila? Oh no, sure. Samaya? Dalva can use the computer. Very good. And number six, Nabila? You can drive a truck. Very good. Number seven, Arafat? Uh, uh, I can. No, wait, wait, wait. Number seven. Number seven. Part B. Dasha Swan can. The children? So far. Okay. The children? The children can swim. Children can swim. We look for the thing, then we look for the action. That's how we usually do it in English. For a statement. Aoni, number, uh, next one. Eight. Uh, number eight. Eight. I cannot uh, teach. teach. I, can, I cannot teach Spanish. I cannot teach Spanish. Sam? Mario can uh, cook uh, Mexican food. Very good. And number ten? We Jamil? Can, we can't uh, understand Chinese. Very good. Okay, let's turn this page over. It's showing us another use of the word can. So we know we did this one. Ability. Ability. We also uses it, used it for permission. permission. It's okay. You can leave. You can come. Uh, permission. It's allowed. 
Can you drive a car? Can you drive a car? Yes. Yes. Usually when we say, okay, let's go here. Can you drive an airplane? Can you drive an airplane, Jamil? No, I can't have one. Uh, I didn't know permission. Do you know how? No. There's a light bulb in there. I need to reach the light bulb. Uh, can I reach it? No. I can't. No ability. But, can I walk out the door? I can. It's either permission or ability. So when we say permission, it means it's allowed. When we say ability, it means can, do you have the ability to do it? So if I said, can you drive an automobile? Do you have the ability to drive an automobile? But if I said, you can use my car. Permission. Permission. Okay. Can I come to school tomorrow? No. Pardon? Pardon? No. No. Well, I guess you could, but there won't be anyone here. But. Uh, so it's either permission or, um, or ability. So let's go through these. And the first one up here, well, let's go uh, the example. Let's look at the example for part A. It says, I can send my resume tomorrow. Do we all see that? Yeah. What? Here's a reminder of a word we used yesterday, resume. What is a resume? Who remembers? CV. Yes. A CV, we would call it, or an outline of your work history, employment history, resume. Notice resume sound on the back end of the word. So I can send my resume tomorrow. It means that it's a possible thing. I can if I, if I uh, need to. Um, number one, let's go back, uh, Botter. Wait, wait. U-S-E. Again, number one. You can use me computer if you need. Need it. If you need it. Okay, is that? Possibility. It's possibility. Um, what's this one, Butter? My. 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 This trip, this trips us up. These little words. Me. 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 My. 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 Me. Me. Use. Use. Us. 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 Yeah. Very good. Uh, number two, Sahim. Yeah. Arena. Arena can't work today because she has a clock. 
Permission or possibility? Possibility. Possibility. Yep. Next one. We can understand. Portuguese. Portuguese. Yes. Which one? Ability, ability or permission? Ability. Ability. Yes. Okay. Um, what is Portuguese? Portuguese. Pardon? Portuguese is the language for Portugal and Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Yeah. Uh, number uh, four. Mr. Lee, I can't make a delivery today. No hospital. Okay. Number five. Uh, Kalud. Is it ability or permission? It's permission. Yeah. You're not allowed. You can't. Up here, um, number six, back up here, uh, Fatima. You can speak many languages. Permission. Ability. Ability, yeah. So my number um, seven. Seven. We can offer training and good benefits. Uh, permission. Permission. Okay. Number eight. Nabila. I can work full time or part time. That's quality. Okay. And number nine, Arafat. Number nine. Yeah, number nine. Mario can uh, can use my car today. Uh, permission. Yeah, I allow it. Yes, he does. He does. You can. And uh, Auni number ten. You cannot use my car. Ability or permission? Permission. Um, now we're going to unscramble below uh, the example, Sam. For part B, read the example. You can't, you can't go to the walk, no. Very good. Okay, do number one also, Sam. Uh, <coughs> I, I fix covers and fax machines. I can? I, I can, I can. I can. I can right. fix covers uh, and uh, and fax machine. That word is copier. 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 A machine to make copies. So when I ask for copies, they come off the copier. Copier. And uh, where are we? Number two, Jamil. Michael cannot drive a truck. Very good. And number three, bit butter. We find a gap, a gap in the local newspaper. Newspaper. Very good. Okay, number four, Sahim. Very good. Lega? You can not wear 
Very good. Okay, Saba. So I can use my uh, telephone, no? Tina. Kin. Tina. Okay, and Kalud? We can't use the... We can't... We can't not use the internet at work. Very good. Back up here. And Fatima? I can start the new job today. Very good. And number nine? Samaya? Yuri and Luis, Luis cannot uh, flow. Follow. Flow. Flow. Follow. Follow. Follow instruction. Okay, and the last one? Number 10? Mm. Nabila? Mm. You can't. You can. You can work well with the time. The team. The team. Team. T E A M. Team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, that was. I didn't like that one too much, but. Um, okay. One, two, three. This goes with that. Take one, pass one. Uh, this is 54, uh, 55. So we're going to do 54 first, then 55. Potter, did you sign in? No. Haircut?
number. I Thank you for letting me know. Okay, going to make some questions, and uh, it gives you some, for part A, it gives you some uh, words, and you have to make a yes or no question to ask what people can and can't do. So the first one, the example there is the words DM and drive a car. So good question is, can DM drive a car? Notice that these are questions using can, and can is almost always the first word in the sentence. So, um, where did we leave off? I forgot. We'll start up here again. And Fatima, number one. So we started off just the same order that it is. Can, Anya, Ivan work on Saturday. Number two, Sumaya. Sumana, I keep calling you Samaya, but yeah, Sumana. 
can you send me a resume? Resume. Resume. Yeah. Resume. Can you send me a resume? Number three, Nabila. I can't. Wait, wait. I can. Start off with can. I can. Start with can, can I. Can I. Can I fill those letters? F-I-L-E. What's that word? Letter. Letter. F-I-L-E. Oh, file. 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 Ah. Watch. File. Feel. Feel. Nabila, one more time. Can. Can I file, file those letters? Those letters. Okay, Harafet, number four. Uh, Teresa, not to speak Arabic. Please, uh, please, uh, come speak Alec. We want to make a question. Yeah. Notice in this one, you probably would use the abbreviation. Teresa, speak French. Yeah. Teresa or Teresa? Pardon? Teresa or Teresa? Teresa. 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 Speak H. French. Did I spell it the way they did? Oh. Yeah. No H in this one. Sometimes Teresa has a H in it. Teresa, speak French. Um, Aoni, number five. Can we talk about the job? Okay. Next one, Sam. Uh, we cannot get the job done. Question. Can we? Can't they? Can't they? Uh, can't they? Get? 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 Job? Jamil? Do give me a social number. Can you give me a social number? Again. Can you give me? Can Don. 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 Can Don give me his social security number? Very good. And last one, better. I can't use your computer. Question. No, no, no I use your we're going to make a question, Butter. Can't I use your computer? Your computer. Can't I use your computer? Now, uh, on part B, we're going to make questions, WH questions. Who, what, where, when, with can and can't. They give you the answer and now you have to make a question. Here's the answer for the example. Mario can use a computer. 
Notice they underline Mario. It means that's the thing that we're questioning here. Mario can use a computer. So the question is who? Mario is a who? Person. So let's do number one. Uh, Sahim, take a look at number one. The words down below that are underlined are Monday through Friday. Is that who, when, where, what? How many? Monday through Friday. When? When? When. So that's going to lead us on. So number one, Sahim, make a question. When? When? Can Monday through Friday. When can what? Can work. Who can work? Mario. Mario. Well, number one doesn't talk about Mario. <laughs> They're just telling us. Mm -hmm. I can. We can. I. We can. I work. I can work. You. When can you work? When can you work? And the answer is someone says, I can work Monday through Friday. Notice this is another example with these where when question and answer, you go from you to I, I to you. Number two, uh, Lega. Here's Underline is because she didn't learn how. What kind of a question word do we use? Because. Why? 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 Why can't what? She drive. She drive. Why can't she drive? She did. Because she didn't. She didn't learn how. Yep. Number three, Saba. Reservations and emails. Who, who, what? Who can? No, reservations and emails. What? 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 Not a person, not a time, what not a check? place. What time check? Uh, what? Can? Can. What can we check? Number four. Kaladi. Number four. Shorts and t-shirts. What? 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 Here's the question. What can I wear to work. What can't I wear to work? Someone says, you can't wear shorts and t-shirts to work. You to I, 
I to you. Back up here to number five, Fatima. Next week, what's that? Next week is what? Question word. Where, who, why, when? Send the references. What are references? Another one of these office words. References. Do we know that word? Uh, remember the word we had here? Resume? Resume? It tells about your work history, your education, your jobs. References are people that will say something nice about you. So for example, if you want a new job, you say, oh yes, my boss at my old job, he really liked me. And so you say, you can call him and he will tell you about me. A, refer a reference. They, the person is a reference. They send a recommendation. So, for example, as a teacher, many of my students would say, can you give me a recommendation for college? And I would say, yes, I will be a reference for you. You can call me, I will send a letter to recommend you. So the person is a reference. The thing they send in is a recommendation. I can recommend you. Yeah. Okay. Um, number six. Number six. Samana. Uh, Ricardo can speak Spanish and English. Who? Who? Who what? Who can speak Spanish? Who can speak Spanish? can speak Spanish. English. Number seven, uh, Nabila. You can use the phone in my office. In my office. Who? Where? Question? When? use the phone and then the answer is you can use the phone in my office uh, number uh, Arafat number eight I cannot work today because I am sick why why can't you work today why can't you work today. It's a bit confusing with the you and I. Why can't you work today? Why can't you work today? Because I'm sick. I can't work today because I'm sick. 
Uh, on page 55, I'll give you a few minutes. You have to match up positive and negative, affirmative or negative, um, for part A, and you just circle it so that the sentence makes sense for part A.
Okay, let's take a look here. And we don't want to work this too much, but let's take a look at, uh, remember we had these things called tag questions that goes on the end. <clears throat> um, so the, the example there, it says, you can come to work today, can't you? Notice, you can come to work today, can't you or can you? Can't you. The example. Okay, notice that it goes from from you can come to work today, can't you? Yeah. It goes from a positive thing to a negative. Now let's try number one. You can't work on Saturday. Can you? Can you? Notice it goes from can't to the tag is going to be the positive. Can you? Number two. Dalva can type. Can't she? Can't she? Number three. She can work in the evenings. Can't she? Can't she? Wait, I'm sorry. Or doesn't she? Doesn't she? Notice it's starting the sentence with can. Can she? Can is the verb and we're going to stick with it. So number three, she can work in the evenings. Can't she? Can, can't. The next one. Number four. They can't w use a computer. Can they? Can they? Can they? Can, can't, can't. Okay. Number five. They can, they can learn quickly. Can't they? Can't they? Yeah. I can get. Number six. I can get get paid hourly. Can't I? We stay with the can. Yeah. Number seven. I cannot work part time. Can I? Very good. Can I? Can I? Can I? You still cannot speak Spanish. Can he? Can he? Very good. Number nine. He can take his job. Can he? Can he? We can fill out a job application. Can we? Very good. Uh, notice they they threw in a couple of do and don't, and are and aren't, and those are different questions. Losing steam. That's the tag question. R and R. From the positive to the negative. Thank you. 
Here's the do one. You do the. You do the. the dishes at home. Dishes. 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 At home. At home. Don't, at home. don't you. Don't you. This is the do form. We do the same thing with R and do. And then the other one they put in there. Remember, I do, you do, they do, we do, but he, she, it doesn't. Does he, does he, does he. Yeah. We just change that verb a little bit. Uh, let's go down to part B. Number example. You can work full time. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Yes, I can. Now the answer to that is I can. Yes, I can. Notice you, I. Boop, boop, boop. One question. Number two. You can't work on weekends. Can you? Can you? Yes, and the answer is yes, I can. Yes, I can. Number three. We can. You must wear short work. Yes, I can. Yes, oh, yes, we can. Uh, uh, no. So, can't we? And the answer over there is? No, we no. can't. No, we can't. can't. Negative. It says a no, so we know we have to pay attention to that. Number three. Can you? We, we can't. Use the shredder. Can we? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Once again, I think we did this yesterday. What is a shredder? Shredder. Office machine. We didn't do anything here yesterday. A shredder is an office machine that shreds papers that you don't want, that are private. So for example, if you have some paper with your social security, your bank account, all your personal information, you don't want anyone to ever see this. So you can take a match and you can what? Stop. Match. You can burn it. But if you're in an office, you can't be burning paper. It's a big fire. So they get a machine called a shredder. It's about this big, a little wider. And you take the paper, you go like this, and it goes, chops it, chop, 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 into small pieces. It's called a shredder. It shreds paper. Shred means to cut. Little pieces. Shred. Uh, where are we? Number four. They can get job training. Cannot they? Can't they or cannot they? And the answer is yes they can. Number five. They can't get health insurance. Can they? Can they? No. 
No. No, they can't. No, they can. Can they? I can. Number six. I can. I can. I can give me rent. No, I can. No. Can I? Can I? No. I can get borrowed. No. No, I can. I too. I can't. No, I can't. Goes from I. No, I can't to you. No, you can't. I can't get free rent, can I? And you say, no, you can't. Goes from I to you in a conversation. Number seven. I can, I can, get, I can get, get vacation. vacation. Yes, I can. Can, can can't I? Can't I? Yes. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Number eight. Abdul, Abdul can get a pension. 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 Cannot Abdul. Can't he? Or you could say, uh, can't Abdul or can't he? Can't he? Can't he? And the answer is no. No, he can't. He can. What is a pension? Pension. The money. Yes, money when the person retires. Pension. Number nine. He can also get insurance. Can't he? Can't he? And the answer is he can. Yes, he can. Number ten. You can offer him the job. Can can't you? Yes. And the yes. answer is? Can I? I can. Yes. I can. I can. Yeah. You to I, I to you. A few words in here we want to discuss next week a little bit. Health insurance, paid vacation, pension, health insurance, shredder, all these words from an office. Okay, we're done for today. See you on Monday. Yes? No class on Friday. Have a good weekend and drive carefully if you need to drive. <laughs>